Whole Recipes member Gail Wagner tells us that slow cooker stuffing is an easy way to make extra stuffing for a large crowd, saving stove space because it cooks in a slow cooker. It's very tasty and moist. First, chop enough onion to make two cups. Two medium to large onions should do it. Then, chop enough celery to make two cups, about four large stalks. If you're using fresh whole mushrooms, now is the time to gently clean and slice them. You'll need 12 ounces of sliced mushrooms. You can use 12 ounces of pre-sliced fresh mushrooms as well. To clean mushrooms, use a damp cloth. Fresh mushrooms are preferable to canned in this stuffing because the flavor of fresh mushrooms is more distinctive. If you want an even deeper flavor, try using dark brown cremini mushrooms like these. Finally, chop enough fresh parsley to make a generous quarter cup. Once the chopping is done, melt one cup of butter or margarine in a skillet over medium heat. Add in the chopped onion, chopped celery, the sliced mushrooms, the chopped parsley, and stir. Cooking this until the onions just start to look translucent. Take the vegetables off the heat. Place 12 cups or 23 ounces of dry bread cubes in your largest mixing bowl. Pour the vegetable and butter mixture into the bowl over the breadcrumbs. Add in one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, along with one and a half teaspoons of dried sage, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and half a teaspoon of dried margarine. Then add in one and a half teaspoons of salt and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Pour in enough chicken broth to moisten. The recipe calls for four and a half cups, but use only as much as is needed to make the mixture stick together slightly. Now, add in two lightly beaten eggs and blend this stuffing mixture well. Transfer the stuffing to your slow cooker. Set it on the high setting and cook it for 45 minutes. Then reduce the slow cooker setting to low and cook for another four to eight hours. While this recipe is designed to be made in a standard four quart cooker, larger slow cookers will also work. Several All Recipes members commented that the trick to keeping this recipe from getting soggy is to gauge how much of the four and a quarter cups of chicken broth you use by how dry your bread is. The drier the bread, the more broth you will need. As one member said, if you use your common sense, this slow cooker stuffing will turn out awesome.